Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 14th of August until the 20th of August 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Seven of Cups. Although dreaming is beautiful and provides inspiration for action, you must at some point begin to build those castles in your real life. A choice must be made even though the apparent multiplicity of options seems to paralyze you with either fear or excessive anticipation. If you are unable to make a decision because of too many options, it is time to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and make a thoughtful choice. You also need to be very clear about what it is you are working towards so that you can make the best choice. Make your decision with caution as all is not what it seems to be. Great opportunities may turn out to be major problems later on, while less enticing options may turn out to be golden opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, there is a risk of illusion. You need to separate what is real from what is illusion. Protect yourself against unclear or wishful thinking and habitual daydreaming. Oftentimes, this card shows choices and plans that have little or no basis in reality. With so many choices presented to you, it is easy to be swayed to that cup containing the snake of jealousy and cunning. Since this card is from the suit of cups, the temptation is likely to be sexual or emotional in nature. The one night stand the extramarital affair, and all those other things that seem innocent and pleasurable at the time they are undertaken. But in the vast majority of cases, the pleasure gained temporarily is far outweighed by the consequences that last, in most cases, for an entire lifetime. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Six of Wands. What do you want most right now is achieving your goals and being publicly acknowledged for your efforts and your results. You may have recently received an award, public acclaim or acknowledgement from your peers for the work that you have done. It may even be just a pat on the back or getting praise or recognition for your work. You have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a successful outcome in your endeavors. You have managed to get through the confusion of the Five of Wands, minimizing your distractions, focusing on the task at hand. You have overcome the challenges along the way, and now you are focusing your energies on the one goal that will lead to your success. This is your time to shine and to come out on top. The Six of Wands is such positive encouragement to believe in who you are and your accomplishments so far. Have faith in what you have personally achieved and how this will be received by others. Do not let fear or guilt stand in the way of your success. You ought to feel proud of what you have achieved and not afraid to hold your head up high and feel worthy of others' attention. The Six of Wands focused on creating success and building your personal brand and reputation. You want to be successful at what you do but at the same time, you want to ensure that others know about it and give you the recognition you deserve. You may need to promote yourself more frequently by sharing your success stories with others and encouraging them to follow a similar journey. 
If you do not already, you will soon have some great success stories to share within your personal networks. You may even be interested in applying for awards or scholarships in order to build your brand and receive public recognition. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Ace of Pentacles. You are afraid that a financial opportunity may fall through. The opportunity may be a pay rise, a new job, a loan, etc. Additionally you need to be very careful about what you can and cannot afford. Do not get in over your head and take on a mortgage that requires huge monthly repayments. Do not rely on the promise of a financial opportunity in the future, for example a pay rise or a gift. Allow some fat in your budgeting in case you are without employment at any time or have a large and unexpected financial outlay. Similarly, the Ace of Pentacles indicates a time when you try to manifest your goals but you do not get very far along due to delays and other impediments to your plans. If your success is limited, then you may need to re-evaluate and modify your plans and proposed approach. Your goals may also need to be realigned to something more realistic. Financial or other professional advice may be needed to help you get back on track. This card can also indicate corruption, greed and taking what one has not earned. Be careful that you are not being overly opportunistic and exploiting others as you strive towards higher profits and earnings. You may also be blinded by an obsession for greater financial accumulation and wealth, at the expense of other areas of your life. If you are considering starting a new business or taking up a new job offer, there is a significant risk to success due to lack of planning and foresight. You may overlook the financial details of your business plan, and head into a new idea blindly without an indication of whether or not there is indeed a market for your services. You may also rush into creating a business, without doing the planning that needs to sit behind it. You need to plan more and have more foresight and consideration into the financial aspects that align to your passions and career interests. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Two of Cups. There will be a beautiful start to a new romance in which you experienced understanding, harmony and deep love between two souls. The seed has blossomed into a tree of appreciation. Kindness and thoughtfulness will bind your two hearts together with the feeling of being simultaneously very special to one another. This card can also refer to marriage, proposals and engagements particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. This card typically points towards a relationship that is based on mutual attraction and romantic inclinations. It reflects the clear, nurturing, supportive and heartfelt exchange of emotions that is the gift of a romantic relationship. The Two of Cups represents love that is nurturing, creative, clearly focused, inspirational and equally fulfilling. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. On first glance, the Two of Cups shares a similar message to the lovers. However, the energy of the Two of Cups is slightly weaker than the lovers card. Whereas the lovers is the reunion of two complete beings, the Two of Cups is a less mature union that, stable as it may seem, does have the potential to come undone over a longer period of time. So. While the union is strong now, it is not clear whether the relationship shown by the Two of Cups can stand the test of time. Only the two people involved can decide that. Despite the focus on the two beings shown on this card, the Two of Cups also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, 
deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in high regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the four of cups. You are afraid that an offer will not come your way, however, you must work hard to go out and get it. It is sitting right under your nose, so make sure you snap it up before you miss out. You may also be too focused on your own issues that you completely miss this opportunity or are unaware that it even exists. Keep your eyes and heart open to new possibilities, and release some of the focus on yourself to allow new opportunities to appear. The Four of Cups also reflects a time when you may be reluctant to open your heart to someone or to express your true feelings instead withdrawing and isolating yourself from the other person. Be mindful of how this may be impacting those who are close to you and be considerate of their needs as well as your own. On a more positive note, if you have been going through a period of stagnation, boredom or apathy, you will begin to feel restless with this state of being, and will want to break free from this rut. Put aside any negative thoughts or sulky behavior. Embrace the opportunities that are already being offered to you. Reconnect with others and let them know how much you appreciate them. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ten of Wands. You are about to reach the end of a cycle after a period of struggle. You are finally reaping your rewards after investing a lot of hard work and effort. You have fulfilled a creative venture, realized a dream or accomplished a major goal, and now must deal with the consequences of that fulfillment. Even with the achievement of your goal, there comes with it great responsibilities and commitments. While you have reached a point of completion, you are becoming starkly aware that you must now carry on with the responsibilities you have laid out for yourself, in order to ensure ongoing success. The trouble is, however, that these responsibilities may become too much to bear and you are struggling to let go. It is a bit like the business owner who creates a flourishing business but who is unprepared to delegate some of his, her responsibilities to the staff and ends up working 70-80 hours a week. The inspiration and creativity that was associated with the initial goal or vision rapidly disappears, and everything becomes hard work all too quickly. Thus, it is incredibly important to let go of or delegate some of your responsibilities in order to free you up to still enjoy your life. The Ten of Wands serves as a reminder of how much we take on in our lives and all the extra burdens and responsibilities we weigh ourselves down with. We take on so much, trying to do all the things that need to be done. Thus, this card asks you to stop and examine your current lifestyle or work. Assess which activities or tasks are really urgent or really important particularly in relation to your broader goals. You may need to employ various time management or prioritization methods in order to determine where best to spend your time and which tasks you can drop. Your goal needs to be greater efficiency, whilst also freeing yourself up for rest and relaxation when you need it. This card can also mean that you are being oppressed by outside sources. You are overworked, overtired and overstimulated. You have more on your plate than you can possibly handle and you have taken on too much at this point in time. In an effort to get to the finish line, you have found yourself overwhelmed with the extra responsibility and activity. You need to stop working so hard. If you cannot stop, then conserve your energy and pace yourself. When you are overcommitted everything becomes a strain. Last but not least, 
The guidance card for you is The Savings The Angels of Abundance guide us to build a savings account. They know that a solid cushion of savings provides security and a reliable source of funds from which to invest in abundance generating ventures. This is not to say that the Angels of Abundance would like us to hoard money. They want us to use the abundance that is provided for us by God for the highest good of all. They also, however, want us not to be so burdened by debt that we have to work in jobs that do not serve our highest purpose. When we save, and especially when we invest intelligently through high yield savings, ideally with credit unions, we are demonstrating self-respect. You are being shown this card because it is important that you remember that you are a co-creator in every aspect of your life, including your financial life. You have the power to be an agent of change both for yourself and for the whole planet. Making a conscious effort to set aside a percentage of your income is just one step in creating that powerful change. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.